Now that you've experienced Bandelier National Monument, we hope you'll stick around to discover the many secrets and attractions of Los Alamos County. But first, you may have a couple of very important things on your mind. Restrooms, food, and souvenirs. Let us put your mind at ease. When you get off this bus, just one minute away across the street from the parking lot is the White Rock Visitor Center with clean restrooms and lots of great information about Los Alamos County, including the towns of White Rock and Los Alamos. Friendly, knowledgeable staff will be happy to answer any questions you may have about the things to see and do in the area. The Visitor Center is open seven days a week, and from March 15th through October 31st, the Visitor Center is open during shuttle hours. When it comes to dining in Los Alamos, there's enough variety to suit everyone's tastes, with 35 dining and treat establishments in Los Alamos County, including seven that are open in Los Alamos after 8 p.m. on weeknights. For a complete list of dining and treat establishments and their addresses, check out the yellow dining and treats card that your driver just gave you. Extras are available on the bus. For example, just two minutes away in the town of White Rock, you'll find the Bandelier Grill, Time Out Pizza, Smith's Food and Drug, and the Don Quixote Distillery and Winery. You'll also find a giant, Metzger's Do It Best, as well as the Hampton Inn. Just 12 minutes away in the town of Los Alamos, you'll find many restaurants and cafes. From good old American comfort food to New Mexican cuisine, even sushi and Cajun fare. There are also delis and cafes that serve coffee, ice cream, sandwiches and other treats. Once you've refueled, we invite you to stay, explore and discover the many historical secrets and attractions of Los Alamos County. There are eight hotels, inns and bed and breakfast establishments in and around the Los Alamos town site. Today, Los Alamos is home to over 18,000 people. Visitors are welcome and free to explore the town. However, that wasn't always the case. Isolated in a remote location on the Pajarito Plateau in north-central New Mexico at an elevation of 7,200 feet, it's easy to see how the place now referred to as Los Alamos was the perfect choice for the Manhattan Project's top secret weapons research and design laboratory in the 1940s. In 1918, the Los Alamos Ranch School was located here as a prep school that combined academic study with outdoor experience. In 1942, the federal government used its powers of eminent domain to take over the ranch school and the homesteads for the Manhattan Project. Headed by Dr. J. Robert Oppenheimer and General Leslie Groves, the Los Alamos part of the Manhattan Project was started in 1943 and led to the development of the first atomic bomb in 1945. Los Alamos was a secret city and all of the information about the town was highly classified. Referred to at the time as The Hill and Site Y, it eventually evolved into what is now known as Los Alamos National Laboratory, one of the largest science and technology institutions in the world. Los Alamos officially became a county in 1949. As you might expect regarding a place that has played such a secretive yet very important role in America's history, there are a lot of misconceptions about Los Alamos. Many people assume that visiting Los Alamos National Laboratory is off-limits to the general public. But in fact, the laboratory offers the Bradbury Science Museum, open to visitors to help them understand the history of Los Alamos National Laboratory, its national security mission, and the broad range of science, engineering, and technology research to improve our nation's future. Achievements include genomics, material sciences, achievements in space, supercomputing, energy, and the environment. Admission is free. Contrary to popular belief, being in Los Alamos does not expose people to radioactivity. Similarly, residents of Los Alamos do not in fact glow, though it certainly is easy to mistake their friendliness for a glow, as you will certainly feel welcome when you visit Los Alamos. However, you can actually buy toxic waste in Los Alamos. Fake, toxic waste toys, candy, and other memorabilia can be purchased at Ottawa Station next to the Bradbury Science Museum and the Los Alamos Historical Museum Bookstore next to Fuller Lodge. Atomic-themed t-shirts and other souvenirs can be found at CB Fox Department Store in downtown Los Alamos. For a complete list of shopping and services, see the green shopping and services card your driver handed to you. No trip to Los Alamos would be complete without a visit to the Los Alamos Historical Museum, which features award-winning exhibits on the rich history of Los Alamos and the surrounding area, from the first settlers to modern times. Admission is free. 
More information can be found on their website, www.losalamashistory.org. The museum also offers a historic walking tour with stops covering a span of over eight centuries. One of the tour stops is the Fuller Lodge. Built in 1928 as part of the ranch school, Fuller Lodge is the landmark building in Los Alamos and served as a hotel and gathering place during the Manhattan Project. Today it serves as a cultural and community center for Los Alamos and houses the Fuller Lodge Art Center, which maintains an art gallery with exhibits from local and regional artists. Information about current and future exhibits can be found online at www.fullerlodgeartcenter.com. Just 20 minutes away, west of downtown Los Alamos, is one of northern New Mexico's best-kept secrets. Pajarito Mountain Ski Area, featuring alpine, telemark, cross-country skiing, and snowboarding during the winter. And an extensive network of trails for great mountain biking and hiking during the summer months. The drive itself provides amazing vistas, including an unparalleled view of both the main lab complex and the Los Alamos town site. If you have an extra two hours to spare, consider a visit to the magnificent Valles Caldera, one of the few supervolcanoes in the world, formed more than 50,000 years ago. Today, this 90,000 acre attraction offers breathtaking views as well as hiking, fishing, hunting, mountain biking, snowshoeing, cross-country skiing, and equestrian trail riding. You might be able to spot or hear the bugling of the 2,500 to 3,500 elk that live on the preserve during the summer months. Activities are open to the public, though some require reservations. Once known as the Secret City, Los Alamos was recognized in 2012 as the healthiest county in New Mexico. Having the highest number of trails per capita in the Southwest, the best place to retire, leading the nation in educational attainment, one of the top 18 great snowy getaways, and ranked number 10 as one of the top places in the nation to live the Western dream. If you're able to see and do everything in this video, you'll have only scratched the surface. Depending upon the season, you can find a myriad of unique experiences from miniature golf at East Park and ice skating in the picturesque rink at the bottom of Los Alamos Canyon to night walks and cultural demonstrations in Bandelier and sleigh rides in the super volcano. Or just hike some of the county's 73 miles of designated trails along scenic mesas and canyons, open year-round. Be sure to stop by the Visitor Center and plan the rest of your trip and the next one.